What's up guys? This is iPod Tutorial Dudes. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool um important thing to do if you have a SSD or just another hard drive that you have. Now this what basically this is is you're going to make a link for all your Steam games so that it appears so your SSD or secondary hard drive thinks it's on the other one. Now, that may be a little confusing to understand, so I'll just show you real quick. So this is my SSD right here. This is what I'm running my OS on right now. And if you go into my Steam folder, you can see Steam Apps, and you can see that little arrow. Now that means it's a hard link. And here on my hard drive, this is my one terabyte hard drive. We have Steam. And here is the original Steam Apps folder. So, I think you can see it here that this is 160 gigs. So this is a really big folder. And right here, on my SSD, if I uh, open up Steam on my SSD, what happens is it thinks that all the apps are actually on my SSD when really they're still on my hard drive. So it actually will make everything go faster because in the background, if you're like playing, opening a Steam game, your OS will be controlled by your um, SSD or secondary hard drive while all your games will be run straight from your hard drive so there will be less um, so that basically it splits up the amount of reads and writes going on and it'll make it actually load faster so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now since I already have this here I'm going to do the same thing except for a folder called test so I just have a, a document in there and we're going to put a hard link of this folder in this directory so to do that, you're going to need to know the file path. And you're going to do a flag R and CMD to pull up your control panel. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your C drive. So you're going to go C CD for a current directory, C colon uh, slash. Now you're in your C drive. And what you're going to want to do is go MK L I N K that stands for make link. So next we're gonna do is do slash J and make sure you have this kind of slash. Um there's a forward slash and a backward slash, make sure you use the correct one. Most of them are forward slashes, but in this case it is different. So uh with the J it basically lets you make a hard link to a folder. So um it stands for junction point, I believe. So now what you do is or junction directory actually. So now what you do is you start with a quote because um, it will have spaces in it, so you will need to use a quote. And because they're in different drives, too. So first what you're going to do is take your destination drive where you want the file to go and and basically type it down here and make sure you type it exactly how it appears there. Um, capital letters are important. Um, everything is important. And then the last thing you're going to do is type in the name of, of the folder that it's going to be. So even though it doesn't exist right now, that's what you're going to type in there. Then you want a space, and you want to start another quotation marks. And this is where you're going to put what you want to copy over in the second, the second address. Now this is my in my E drive, which is my secondary hard drive. All right, and then when you're done, you're gonna end with your uh, parentheses and or quotation marks, my bad, and hit enter. And now, as you can see here, it created my junction folder right here. And as and what it basically thinks is my SSD contains this folder in it. So the original you can see is here. So if I would delete the original, it would get deleted from here too because it doesn't actually exist right here. This th this just thinks it exists right here. So, um, as you can see, it's a really cool way so you can transfer over your Steam games. Unfortunately, this doesn't work with, like, Origin. I don't know why. It, it really should, especially with the implementation of so many new SSDs nowadays. I'm not really sure what they were thinking with that, but it does work on Steam, which is great. So now that you have the test folder, or the Steam apps folder, that's what you guys will be doing. Instead of test, you'll be doing Steam apps. You'll have all of your games copied over to your SSD, so you don't actually have to take up space on your SSD. Now, if you actually do want to transfer over 
games to your SSD, like the whole legitimate game, without having to delete and do all kinds of fancy stuff, all you have to do is um, transfer it using Steam Mover, which is a program you can just search it up online and download it. It's literally just called Steam Mover. So I hope you guys found this useful. Um, I, I certainly did. I, I was very happy when I figured this out. It's very um, simple, as long as you know what you're doing the right way. And it's kind of hard to screw up because you really can't delete anything by doing this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment.